Greetings everyone, Ajon here with another couple of heroes to replay. So on the left side as the Yoko W player, we have Olds of Goth. And immediately locked into the Special Operations Doction. So on the right side as the USF, we have Kimbo. Immediately locked in the support, Recon Support Company. Volks, Grenadier are on the line. Volks, Rifleman, pretty much a standard opener from both sides. Though, actually, he could go for some IR Pathfinders. First, I find one squad of IR Pathfinders is actually quite nice to have. Not necessarily for fighting, but primarily for calling in, for spotting for mortars and pack howitzers. Spotting is very important when it comes to the U.S. mortar. Though the recent balance is not so much. But spotting for mortars really does help out in their uh, scatter. Rifleman in open ground. There is light cover here. More or less denying the heavy cover. Though I think if you push forward a little bit, you can get some heavy cover there. Schumpire is going for a flank. He's already dropped a model. There's no negative ground here. But there's going to be a big collapse upon with another Rifleman squad. The Shumpani is going to have to rely on this light cover and deal enough damage to the Rifleman Squad and the rear echelon. He will not be able to withstand the uh, Rifleman Squad. In fact, that uh, Shumpani Squad may in fact go down. Does get one of the models of the Rifleman there. He's definitely pursuing it, but it may lose in this engagement. Oh, he does get it. He spoke way too early. Well, with this Storm Partner going down, it may be best not to go for Mech Knight's HQ, but to go for Battle Group HQ. For... Since he, well, can't repair the Stur uh, any looks or Puma. Well, you can always go for the Mech Knight's repairs. But maybe just best to go for... The... Battle group HQ. Just so since the repairs are not an issue. Let's drop a model there. The Rifleman squad needs to fall back. They're not going to be able to accomplish all too much. He's going to get nice and close to deny the cover bonus. And he has fallen back. Doesn't actually capture the fuel point. He had attack order but decided not to put the stuff order after it. No IR Pathfinders just yet. Or ever. The enemy you may see an airdrop combat group because these these paratroopers can uh, build mines, be upgraded with dual bazookas, and the pack howitzer is always nice to have. <clears throat> We've got an SWF's half track and the Shroom Pioneer queued up, so he is going. He may be going for Mechanized HQ. He may be going for Battle Group HQ. He's definitely not going for Sheriff Hands of Quarters because he can't get it yet. North side, we do have these riflemen here. Volk's going to be utilizing the heavy cover. Could pinch. Oh, you can actually hop over that rock. Riflemen here on the flank. Trying to protect this point. There's a lot of light cover here while there's heavy cover right here. There's a bit of light cover over here, but he's going to push forward to these uh, bushes. He's trying to draw his opponent out to the heavy cover. Sturm, he has seen the fresh squad of Sturm Pioneers, so he more likely think that he's going to go for Battle Group HQ, or Mechanized HQ. This Rifleman squad is going to hit quite a bit. This Rifleman squad is focused on the uh, Sturm Pioneer squad, and this squad will be forced back due to the fact there's two squads versus one. Gonna get a nice flank over here now. Sturm Pioneers are gonna push on forward now. This squad is now at that one. He is retarget to the Sturm Pioneers. So the Sturm Pioneers will receive quite a bit of damage. Does get one more model there. But allows this uh, Volkswagen to push on forward, forward and fall back. Do you know the tickets are very similar because this uh, central VP has not been captured. Going straight for the munitions, not going for the. Uh, VP has thrown an incendiary grenade. And his battle group HQ, likely for the medics. 
Oh, he's going for the mechanized battle group support. And rear echelon versus these two storm pioneers. Most likely the rear echelon will win out, win out, but it just feels like rear echelon, whenever I want them to do good, they don't. And when I just like put them in a stolen location, they do well. There is a lieutenant out on the field. There is an M20 utility car on the build queue. The lieutenant will, of course, allow him access to the uh, steward, which is a little bit overlapped with the uh, M8 Greyhound column, so he may not be even think about going for the steward. The Greyhound's, of course, also for command points. Utility car taking the field. We do have the flak half track on the build queue looks like he's low on manpower that's why shroom pioneer is taking quite a bit of time to reinforce he has two models queued up he can now get the third reinforced model queued up and this volt grenadier decides to do a quick fallback he needs a medic that's for sure his a lot of his units are very much wounded volt grenadiers are now upgraded stg he's got the utility car on the flank will likely will see a house and which will leave a vulnerable to this uh, Black Half Track. Black Half Track can get to melee range. This guy is almost a veteran C1 for the uh, AT rifle grenade. Lieutenant may in fact go down as well. And it looks like he will not pursue the M20. I don't think there was any time for M20 mines, but his opponent may not realize, may not know that. So, he sees the M20, he may want to invest to a Minesweeper. He's approaching enough munitions for it. He does spot the M20, so it is a bit of risk from the Pursuit. Though, we have a good idea that we know there's no mine. Does get one round onto it. The base MGs are right here, not covering this point. But I think he's put it, put it there. Not to kill the M20, but to protect the Volksgrenadier. Though, he needs to push a little bit farther forward to, uh, to support the Volksgrenadier. It is a cutoff point combined with the central VP, so he's not getting access to any of the southern munitions. The Kenworfer on the field queue, and uh, Stuart on the field queue as well, not saving up the Greyhound. The Stuart is uh, generally a bit better than the Greyhound itself. The resource sector has been isolated. Volks Grandier is super wounded. I say capture and capture run complete. because no enemy activity. perfect. Because he's not going to accomplish all too much. We've got the medics now being uh, queued Grenadier's up. The, he will be able to use his last crate with this little health Our one. Stoom Pine is also wounded as well. Available. Still no steward. And a lot of these squads do need a medic. He does have enough uh, manpower for an ambulance, so he needs a kid to queue it up. N20 here, laying down a mine, and there is armor skirts. He may spot the mine, he sees the crew member. It was cancelled. Ganamorpher does roll a big miss. The M8 and the M20 is going back on in. I'm not so sure why. Lieutenant here, the Kenworfer is here. Stuart does get a hit, but Kenworfer is now facing the wrong angle. We may see some smoke. Yes, we will see some smoke. Stuart does force fire the ground, and the Kenworfer does a full retreat. And that looks like a dead half black half track. Having trouble with the Fausts. And there's a dead abandoned half track the snare will connect shroom pioneers are in the region and the shroom pioneers now fully reinforced as well he's trying to repair up this uh engine it only needs a small amount the engine is now repaired he can get back in there try to dis destroy that half track may see another faust Another Faust will connect. Ready. 
there is an ambulance now out on the field. Folks are in here engaging the uh, rear echelon. M20 will get the circle around, but there is a Faust here. And the flak half track is reinforced. The engine still completely destro destroyed. Engine. Strong pioneers. They do see some hits there, but that's a uh, now pin the squad. Uh, but Kenner Wolfer fully retreated. AT rifle grenade does connect. Going for another AT rifle grenade, but he may lose that squad. There's only two strong pioneers left. Throws out a stun grenade, giving the Stone Pioneer as much room as they need for the time being. Getting some good hits there, but he now needs to fall back relatively soon. It is a destroyed engine, not immobilized, so he can creep away. But Ken Warfare is moving on forward. He can force fire and kill and suppress. Does get an AT rifle grenade. May lose that rifleman squad. Could throw a smoke. Does throw a smoke. Force fires the ground and gets the kill. Lieutenant does not get the capture. We do have an M8 coming out as well. M20 is out on the field. She's getting for three light vehicles. That's a lot of light vehicles. He, he, the OKW player may need to get another Bekenworfer out. Because that's a lot of light vehicles. He does have enough for our sheer panzer quarters and fuel. Now he sees the M8 Greyhound. Does get a good hit there. Faust will connect. And there goes the enemy. That was a waste of a M8. It literally did 50 damage, not even that. MG34 out in the field. Another flak half track. I highly disagree with the flak half track. Kenneth for set on up rolls a miss. Sandbag does receive a hit there. And Sandbags receives another hit. That Sandbag's doing a great job of absorbing hits. But the Vikendo Warfare rolled with two misses. Get hit. Get hit. Get guns the armor skirts will make it severely resistant to the SDG fire. Four sides to the ground, unsuccessful. Ooh, and it looks like he did get lose a rifleman squad entirely. We'll see another Panzer Faust. And so we we'll sit here and fight. Long the lieutenant and the rear echelon engage. And the rear echelon could repair the M20. And I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Flat half track, fresh one. Trying to suppress the lieutenant. And he will quickly repair up this M20. Engine's fully repaired, so no chance of it being uh, caught out. Does get some minor hits. Rush on forced back. And we do have a minesweeper here. I don't think there's any M20 mines. Let's take a quick look. I see no M20 mines. Our supply lines have been cut. Americans are making a push. Enemy infantry! Lieutenant now engaging this Volksgrindir. Not all the Volksgrindir, only one Volksgrindir has SDGs. He's been spending quite a bit of munitions on those Fausts. He's fired about five Fausts so far this game. He does pin the Lieutenant there. M20 engaging the Storm Pioneers. They were off the point. Maybe there was a mine over there. Maybe it was just a light AT mine for the Echelon. MG 34. There is another squad of rear echelon. Well, that is the same squad of rear echelon. Uh, right there. 
getting suppressed by the MG-34. If the Volk's Grenadier are off the point, it will be instantly captured. You can see there, that capture was very, very close, to say the least. Stewart up here. A lot of explosions there. The kind of warfare is rotating up. He does have Vector C1, so we can go ahead and camouflage. Enough munitions here for the cluster bombs. You can always go for racks and get racks on all of his units, uh, bars. And Sheer Panzer Quarters is sitting on up. It's a very. Def it's also def it's defensive Command and quite far forward. Steady. Pretty close to the central BP, but it will cover a lot of lane. cutoffs and protect his MG34, as well as potentially protect his flak half track away from the steward itself. Do got the. Panzer authorization has been researched. He's pretty far away from fuel from a Panzer IV. I'm assuming he's going for a Panzer IV. Panzer IV or Yag Panzer probably a good idea. His opponent has quite a bit of fuel, but I think he doesn't even have Major. Nope, no Major, so Panzer IV would be a good option, not even Yag Panzer. Good hits there. Both are out smoke. Rifleman can completely pin down. House does connect. Rakenwerfer, maybe a bit far away. Volkswagen are trying to push one forward. May get a Faust right there. And ooh, this is even hard, that Volkswagen deer. All these Fouls, but I haven't been able to kill any of these units, so he's spent a lot of munitions on these Fausts. But on the other side, He's going for a doctrine that doesn't have a huge munition sinks. Some nice things to have, like the flares and the infiltration tactics, but he can easily be over or have a float of munitions of that doctrine. So overall, it's not a half bad thing uh, for him to spend the munitions, I'd say. Plus, it helps with his veterans, his folks. I mean, we got vet three, four volts. Stuart moving on in, just outside of range of the Shearer Panzer Quarters. Half-track fully repaired. And bars have been researched, and it looks like he's fully kitted out. Stone Pioneer is way out of position. Most of the southern BP is quite locked down. The Shearer Panzer Quarter can choke uh, any sort of roll up north while these folks capture the northern BP no problem and catch the fuel. Where is he is getting another Bakenwerfer? <clears throat> which would be nice to help deal with the stewards, I guess, and the M20. Infiltration grenades coming on out. And they're pretty two of them are pretty good, but I think he splashed up his own unit bit. We do have these Volks capturing up the VP, going for these this point and then the uh, fuel point. Major has been researched. He is approaching enough fuel for a Scott, but I don't think that's likely to be built. He has no indication of what a doctrine's opponent has gone, because oh no, he's seen the infiltration grenades, and assume he didn't have scavenge also locked in, then he has a good idea that he is facing special operations. The Kenner Whipper and Volksgrinder making their advance down south. This fuel point was not managed to get fully captured. There is M118 gun trying to hit this sheer Panzer quarters, but Sturm Pioneers are in the area for repairs. There's enough fuel for a Panzer IV, but he may be just saving up for a Pan the Command Panther. Another Faust? And not another dead steward. Not another dead steward, if I want to be clear. 
He does get the drop on this M1AT gun with the S with one of his sports the STGs. We may have seen some good suppression here. Force fires over the hedge. Gets two hits. A third hit. That smoke was nothing. He's force firing. Ooh, that was pretty effective. I'm never that lucky. If it's going through a hedge, I always hit the hedge. That smoke was useless, though. Because he was already force firing. We do have a Panzer IV on the build queue. Captain here engaging the Volksgren deer, and the Volksgren deer will not be able to handle the steward. Getting a good hit there. The Vet 3 steward is very lethal. That next shot could. Ooh. Next shot could actually take out the squad. I think he forgot about it. Ooh. The folks barely managed to live. Another M1 AT gun. The tickets are very much similar. 388 to 385. Now they're just one ticket apart. And now they're tied. And now they aren't. Still going for close range. Doing a significant amount of damage to that uh, sandbags. Cannon Warfare does fire and roll a miss. The other one is the Vet 1 1. In which the Vet 1 1. Should pass just stealth and guard this central PP and have the unvetted one be the mobile support. But speaking about mobile support, the Panzer support is still complete. and the mount is on the way. Up north, the pan the Stuart is responding. He is currently building the sandbags, so he will sustain extra damage from those. Uh, received accuracy from the NGs. Trying to build the sandbags now with that squad. Stop the capture munitions. That's poor control. And here comes the N20. Kenworthford does get a good hit there, and that is the unvetted one. And does a meteor retreat because he saw the captain and rifleman. Down south, you see the Hulk squad capture the BP. Hulk squad is capturing up this point. They see the MG-34 rotate more towards the VP, or to this general area. There are two M1-18 guns. That could be a dead Panzer IV. It does receive a bounce there, so it should be able to escape on out. Oh, those force fires have been affected. MG-34 could use the armor-piercing rounds against the M20. The Kenworthford does get a good hit over here. And it is at two, two stars of veterancy. Large push in the center. Stewart is pushing his way forward. Both run two of the Kenworthford. And a Faust. No, the Faust was, did not come off. Now this one is at Veteran Super 1 now, so he placed them both stealthily somewhere. Does spot both those M1 AT guns and decide to say, nope. Trying to force fire to the ground, does roll a miss, does get a hit there, but I don't think that was force fired. MG-34 is being flanked with these weapons here. A Stukas of Foos or a Lyg would be honestly very good. And since he doesn't have mechanized HQ, I would say a Lyg could be quite useful. Major Brian be going for some uh, Major already on the Shure Panzer quarters. And no, but he is going to put both AT guns into it. He needs a Cedar Grenade, though. So he needs Infiltration Grenade. So does that make the... Uh, 
radio silence and does the crew one of the 18 guns and there goes the captain to infiltration grenades the sheriff has quarters severely wounded but don't think it's going down i don't think the major was back one while that was cast bazooka trying to push force towards the hands of war the Stone Pioneer Squad needs to fall back and give repairs not only for Panzer IV, but also sheer Panzer Quarters. All the units are actually hitting on the minimap, but me, clearly as a observer, clearly can see them. I wonder if I were to click through that. Oh yeah, if I were to click on him, it's all invisible. I was sort of curious how it worked for observers because I ne I think nobody ever uses the ability. Nice wipe there, Pay just leaving, and the captain's on, fresh as well, so now leaving only the lieutenant and rifleman squad as embedded in infantry. NG-34 is reset on up. There we go. We see a lag. We also see a destroyed a tank gun there. Command has authorized the use of radio silence. This is what we're trained for. Stone Pioneers, I'm looking at them because they need to be repairing. They have a lot of work to do. Stuart trying to be run down for a Faust. Stuart and M10 or M20 is still alive. Jackson's almost repaired. Sandbags keep on getting hit, which is always a good thing to see for the U.S. player. Team ready. Both can work for a Vetch C2, and the Vetch C2, of course, give access to increased tar weapon targeting and rate of fire, so better access and rate of fire, or reduce the aim time and rate of fire. Looks like he's destroying that. Uh, the enemy is overrunning one of our capture points. Uh, stone barricade on purpose. Or nope, he was hitting the force firing the sandbags. Maybe. Panzer Four does receive a pair of bazooka hits there. I think the Sheer Panzer Four is still very much wounded. Yes, the Sheer Panzer Four has not been repaired, which I say is a huge oversight because just one look and it's dead. And he still needs it to bring up the Command Panther, if I remember correctly. While he does have enough fuel, he doesn't have enough manpower. And if the Command Panther goes down, you're completely out of luck then. There's now a Sherman tank out on the field, and the sword does get snared once again, but does get hit by a Vikan Warper. Does Faust the M20, retreats back to the Vikan Warper before... It can stick it out. Trying to body block does body block the Pekenna Warper. And does completely wipe off the Pekenna Warper there. Very nice. Pans of War now responding, but he's going to be way up gun. Pans of War severely wounded now. Pekenna Warper is squeezing enough, but does. Good wide hit there, hitting the captain. The Kenworkers force, not the Kenworker, or Volksgrenier force him back. And 20 receives another miss. Those Kenworkers have missed, I would say, almost half the shots. That may have been forced fire right there, though. Still wounded. A lot of four vehicles, every single one different. He's plus with the Greyhound. He's built five, I can go to the ambulance, six different vehicles. The Sherman tank does get a good HE round hit there. He is going for a Faust. No, he doesn't get the Faust. Yeah, Pons of the Doku. 
I almost could have gone for the Command Panther. He has plenty of fuel. He could go for two Yak Panthers as well. Maybe he's going for that. He just needs some manpower. Still not repaired. I say that's a huge oversight. Zoom Pioneers severely wounded now takes that Force Fire HE round and wipes out the. Man, his Force Fire is on target. Jack's receiving a massive hit there. Sheer Panzer Quarter does make it to Yag Panzer in time. The Kid Warfare well, Panzer Faust does get the M20. Sheer Panzer Quarter still alive. Stuart now makes his way forward. Could spot for the Jackson. Yes, he's now returned to the Sheer Panzer Quarters. And there goes Sheer Panzer Quarters. And he cannot build the Command Panther as long as there's no Sheer Panzer Quarters. So whatever vehicles he has in the field, that's what he's going to get. Unless he's going to spend a sniff amount of time getting more buildings. An aircraft was dropped on. Oh, looks like it's going for the paratroopers and pack howitzer. He did lose his lieutenant. I went down to one vet, three riflemen, and, and a vet, one captain. Down south, we do have the steward out. Could try pushing forward this uh, Volkswagen here to get into combat range. For duty. Yeah, he just only needed to get pushed to the sandbags and he was in combat range. A little bit of an oversight there. Okay, we're for Ebet Veteran C3. Does have good angle on the Sherman. Does get direct hit on the Sherman as well. He does not get a second shot off. Jagdpanzer is here, a good anti-vehicle unit. Jackson and Sherman are here. He's going to Faust the Sherman, or could Faust the uh, Jackson. Does... Ooh. One more shot, and that Sherman's dead. Does not retarget. And the M180 gun is going to force him away. He's trying to go for another uh, Faust, but runs away. Ooh. Unable to get the kill on any of his vehicles. Troopers. Not from the upgrade of anything, it's far from the missions. The restaurant does get a good hit there. Very close to, hit, to death. Pack Hollister may become problematic. It has been recruited with paratroopers as well. Trooper and Seal here have not been detonated. Now Pack Hauser is now engaging the lag. The lag is doing some good damage versus the uh, Parachute Squad. Stuart here getting great AOE damage. M20 still pitching this some good work as well. And that made it death of Stuart, but no, the M20 smoke. Nope, the Stuart finally goes down. Another Sherman tank on the build queue. Hits onto that Sherman tank. Jack's now moving on forward, but you got the M180 gun here. Has the focus sight on KD increased range. That's high explosive rounds on the Sherman. Jagdpons are severely wounded, trying to back it off. Does find that shoe mine. It's not pursuing yet. 
Panzerport does get a good hit there. But the Panzerport, too wounded to really gauge. Cannon Warfare setting on up. Jagdpanzer does not have cloak on. And he's forced acting strange. Does get a kill on the Jagdpanzer. On the Jackson, I mean. Sherman tank does roll a miss. Jagdpanzer does get a get direct hit on the Sherman tank. Looks like a Volkswagen gear squad went down in the middle of all that. Paratroopers may go down. Nope. And the Sherman tank will fall back. Stone Pioneers have a lot of work to do. A lot of fuel. Enough fuel if he gets Mechanized HQ for King Tiger. Which may not be a half bad direction. He needs more repairs anyways, so the Mechanized HQ could be quite useful. He's building his SWS half track. Maybe for the Command Panther, maybe for the King Tiger. I can't really say. Both options are probably good, though he doesn't really need any vehicle at this moment. A Stukas of Foos wouldn't be half bad either to deal with AT guns. I do believe Mechanized HQ and either King Tiger or Stukas of Foos may be the best option. Oh, we have radio silence being activated. Panzer of the Corps is now fully repaired. The half track is moving on forward. It is for sheer Panzer quarters. This game can still go either way. There's enough resources here for Sherman Tank, but it's likely saving up for Jackson. Can it work for Soap and Beckett's fine? He does have enough uh, population for the uh, Command Panther. Sherman Tank does get a nice high explosive round. Hands of four. Uh, can't decide which way to go to go sideways. Looks like we're going in. Paratroopers here. Still not upgraded with anything. Wag does get a good hit there. Assault grenades, infiltration grenades. May claim this captain, but will not. The Agaconsa does get a good hit there. Bazookas, I think, has done enough to do a full shot of war for pens. And we do have some Obsolots in on the build queue, which will make him too much population in order to get out a Command Panther. But he will get the infrared STGs, which could be actually pretty good. The Agacons are still receiving quite a bit of fire. Sherman Tank almost dead due to the Bakena Warfare. Nice smoke uh, barrage there from the Sherman Tank. Saving that uh, rear echelon. And a great hit there by the Panzer IV. Jackson on the build queue. And he is upgrading the uh, Volks, the Obsidots with the infrared STGs. Bundle grenade has been thrown, dealing significant amount of damage. He might need, he might need to retreat that uh, Obsidots. Sure, the Pack House Barrage is. Uh, Worry something, you can just move to right around here. 
Another paratrooper support squad coming in. Anthony Lucas support squad points. paratroopers and a pack howitzer. Making the stoops a boost. More attractive. The enemy is overrunning one of our capture points. Ooh, now that was a good hit. And that's an even deadlier hit. Both pack howitzers. Nope, that was straight from the same one. First round was high angle, the second round was low angle. And main gun destroyed. And the vet 5 McKenna Warfare gets the kill on the we just lost a medium uh, tank. Jackson. Had a really, really high rate of fire. Bazooka's coming on in, but we'll run to STGs of two variety. House does connect on to the Sherman point. tank, which could leave a very vulnerable to these units, but the two AT guns are in the region. He does have enough ground for save rounds for both of them. But the infrared SDGs could make short, short work of them. Paratroopers not fully reinforced, moving their way point. forward. There's a bar captain here. And I think the Obersauce needs to fall back. He is. His vehicles are still quite wounded. And primarily to those uh, rear echelon bazookas, honestly. A capture point is being overrun. Volk's Grandier decapturing the munitions point. A capture point is under attack. Our supply line just got cut off. Sherman under fire. Sherman Tank moving on forward with the support of both AT guns. Sherman Tank does get a pen while the Panzer IV rolls a miss. And this could be a dead. That armor did not save him. Another Panzer IV on the build queue. Like does get a good hit there, but very good needs to fall back. I hear Panzer Faust. Getting it very close to death, but no, not close enough because nothing's there yet to kill him. Capture point is being overrun. At this point, I would recommend using the have yeah, the Jagdpanzer have cautious movement on because it's mostly being caught out of position by AT guns and the rear echelon. All right. Another Sherman tank on the build queue does activate cautious movement now. Our Tactical point being captured. IR STGs moving on forward as well. The enemy is overrunning one of our capture points. Back to full strength. Down south is the MG34, but the, the crew is in heavy cover while the gun is not. We're losing a capture point. Packhauser is raining on in the central BP. Oh, that's a fresh stone pioneer. He lost his previous one. That was a bet five one, so it's great for repairs. And one AT gun here. We got the pants, the Sherman tank moving forward, but he's very much wounded. And Yagpanza does find a good hit there. One Faust and an AT gun sh and a shot. One Faust is enough to kill it off. Bazooka's engaging, but Fausts are going to be unlikely. FTG's trying to deal with this uh, Wolf's Grenadier squad. Getting a good hit onto this captain. Taking crowd fire. Change of plan. Tank support is here. Sherman ready. Infiltration grenades coming on forward. And the ooh, those pack howitzer shots very fired very closely, and he did not dodge those infiltration grenades, leaving him very wounded. 
kinds of poor moving on forward. Light needs to get some barrages over here. Two Sherman tanks are out. Both of them are loaded with high explosive, ripping apart that bulk strength here. In fact, also is eyeing for a barrage on this. Oh, so that's an end. Oh, oh, so close to death. The Kenna Whipper is here and has really, really good rate of fire. Just needs spotting. And then maybe a shot or two. Yag yeah, Panther not fully repaired. Or Yag yeah, Panzer, not Panther. Armor here. Enemy armor! They know we're here now. Sherman takes maybe eyeing for repairs. Does spot the Panzer IV there. The Cannon Warfare is stealthed. And not set on up. Kenworth has been spotted. Bazookas do connect. Oh, AT guns do connect as well. Looks like we do got major RD. No. The cluster mine's coming in. Trying to kill this Vet 5. Losing this Vetra C is going to be detrimental, but he does dodge it all. Sherm Tank going on in. Trying to get the Panzer 4. Does get the kill on the Panzer 4. Rear armor to the Yag Panzer by the AT guns. And that out of control Panzer 4 is not detonating on the unit. When it should. Sherman tank here, severely wounded. Yeah, the light does get another good hit onto it as well. That Sherman tank could go down. It does go down. Just leaving this Sherman tank alive. Now, Vi gets that Fetcher C3, so it gains the increased range for the barrages. Or faster subsequent barrages. Oh, increased range of smoke barrage. Maybe they changed Fetcher in the previous patch. Folks, Grandier engaging the paratroopers. The paratroopers the enemy is may go down. They're seeing a lot of damage. This paratrooper squad will get suppressed by the MG-34. The southern VP is unprotected. And that Volksgrindir squad is sustaining a lot of damage. The MG-34 has fully retreated as well for unknown reasons. Shum Pioneers do throw out a stun grenade. This point's not being captured. Points. Oh! And the cannon were for getting hit by the captain. Going for a fresh Panzer IV. And the M1 AT gun does find a hit, but he does, of course, have Fetcher IV, allows him to get a little bit more health, surviving an extra shot. Painting's always buggy in this game. Sherman tank does force back the Volks Grenadier. Paratroopers now going to that uh, strategic point. This is the Panzer IV, the fresh one. MG-34 just been researched for MG-42, I should say. Rear echelon trying to engage this focus burn gear squad, but so far largely unsuccessful. Could destroy the sandbags with bazookas. Here you got an M50, uh, not M50, M250 HB, M2 HB 50 cal. There we go. Oh, getting, oh, that focus sight. It's one of the most powerful veterans to one abilities. Which people don't really seem like they use all too often. Extra range and AT guns on something that fires as fast as that. Whoops. Oh, could have splashed his own unit. That unit could go down. Heavy machine gun team, ready for orders. And he does go down. Hasbro does receive a hit there, but I think the AT guns are force firing, hitting it. 
Another good hit there because the special support has pretty good rate of fire. Paketa Warfare does get a good hit there as well, but does not get the kill. Immediately retreats it back in order to uh, protect it from any sort of counter barrage with the pack howitzers. And those pack howitzers and AT guns have been so deadly this game, he really should have gotten for us two Kuzafus and not for our sheer Panzer Quarters. Even King Tiger would have been good. One of our capture points. It does use the flares smoking the 50 cal. But I don't think he can be in the VP and protect, but no, he's going to just straight up go try to displace it with the infiltration grenades. Or just straight up flank it. That works too. The Volks Grandier. Ooh, that's moving way too many guys there. Fitical is still in the area. Another Panzer IV on the build queue. Listen up over here. I haven't seen really counter barrages onto these pack howitzers with the lag. Change your plans! M334 suppressing this uh, paratrooper. And, ooh, getting some good hits there. And the pack howitzer, maybe that's why he's not hitting the pack howitzer with the leg. It's outright destroyed. Both M1AT guns are pushing on forward. His infantry just hasn't been able to keep the ground. And he's picking up his opponent's medical supplies. Not sure why he deployed medical supplies. It's a pretty weird spot. He has should always retreat back for healing. They're at 200 points. And he used all three of them there, so I really don't know why he had medical supplies there in the first place. Armor ready. Armor. He makes action. Tank support is here. Sherman ready. Good hit there with the Yod Ponzer. Another great hit by the but can't work for play. It loses vision thanks to the hedges. Jagdpanzer in pursuit, but he will run into these AT guns. One of them is not set up. He has cautious movement enabled, and with some here ground, he may be able to find it for the AT guns. Kuzuka's do hit. Two AT guns hit, doing a Smith mount damage. Sherman Tank does receive a good penetrating hit there. Panzer four rolls a miss and a bounce. Folks going here to try and push the center of the map. These AT guns are over my bet three. They're deadly. Those will a bounce there. The other pans of the captain could go down. He's pretty wounded. The Agons are is receiving fire. Multiple hits now. I think he's using take aim. Luckily, there's a stream protecting the Panzer IV. I believe Pink Aim still has it in range. Panzer IV is now engaging the Sherman tank, and there goes the Sherman tank. And now he has to open to take on these uh, M1AT guns and deep through them at least. And get rid of the Vector Seed. That would be a huge deal. That one is now down. There's, and this uh, tank is going to push forward unopposed. There, is, there is some bazookas here. The other Sherm, the other Panzer could advance. Infiltration grenades on the paratrooper does fall back immediately as well. And that AT gun's also decrewed. There goes all the Vector C. There is a Sherman tank here, Vector C1, being loaded up with APs, force firing the, these M1 AT guns. Both of them are completely destroyed now. And they just have to rely on Jackson. He does 
now have enough fuel for Jackson. Ooh, I didn't realize that guy would down right in front of me. No, Bazooka's only a Sherman tank for anti vehicle. This has a force rushing on in, trying to deal with these uh, pack howitzers. He gets a great hit there. Sherman tank does get a good hit, needs to withdraw. Sherman tank in at approaching. The other Panzer Bar could does uh, absorb a shot and bounce. Multiple good hits there. Yagtons are now engaging. This Panzer IV needs to fall back. He has Sturm Pioneers, though severely wounded. Another Panzer IV out on the field queue. He is going to repair, rebuild his uh, M118 gun, but I also say Jackson. Tactical point being captured. Because at this point, if, if there's three Panzer IVs, he can easily overwhelm the AT gun, and Jackson will give him some mobility, point. along with the Sherman. I thought he, uh, decrewed the pack altars, I guess not, he managed to escape on out of there. And the barrage in the central VP almost gets the folks grenadier. Listen up, listen up. Paratroopers not making an advance, paratroopers are pretty effective without, without the M1919s. But this M, uh, Panzer IV, a little bit out of position, but the Jagdpanzer does have, I guess I have actually C5. Flying for the like nearly double damage shots and out coming out of camouflage. Does get a good hit there. Jagdpanzer pushing up forward. And the Sherman tank will take two more pens and there goes that Panzer IV. Really wasted. He's trying to get that other Sherman tank but he decides to fall back. This Panzer IV is also severely wounded. He needs a blitz out of there. Bazookas do upgrade on the uh, Panzer IV. Does receive a bounce. And does a bit of body blocking there, but this M118 is out of, out of arc and not out of range. It does receive a bounce there, it is blitzing, but the bazooka could still be very problematic. It does get a hit, and the bazooka does take it out. He's throwing his Panzer IVs away. His Panzer IVs were too split up. Trying to dive after the Sherman tank and losing both two Panzer IVs. Yes, he has a lot of fuel in bank, but doesn't have the manpower for it. Does get a great hit there. The Ken Warfare does get a good, good hit. And there goes the Sherman tank. I'll see with his, these two ambush units, he doesn't need to chase down the Sherman tank. <laughs> he can just have it be ambushed. Oh, ABG. is being displaced. The captain is still in the area. The tickets is all what really matters right now. Has a force civilian wounded, but he does decrew this uh, AT gun. And I was going to force fire it with the uh, Yag Panzer. Does get the kill on it. Takes the ambush attack on the AT gun. Oh, multiple bazooka hits. Bazooka's being very effective on the paratroopers. Frag grenade is thrown, doing some good damage to the Sturm Pioneer. And this Panzer IV needs to fall back and get repairs. I really don't like seeing these uh, units with such low health being sent back in. And you can't be losing the Buchanan Warfare. I thought I saw a grenade being attempted to thrown, but it looks like not. It was still on cooldown. The Agons are approaching. Both and Deer receiving uh, pack pallets or hits. Does throw in a senior grenade and backs off. He's trying to circle the Yagpons. It does stealth there, but stealthing right there was actually a bad time because it slowed him down. 
and he missed as well. Go for the VP here. This one has been cut off, so no munitions, but there's nothing protecting protecting this one. He can't have a triple cap against him. Fresh pants of four. Sherman tank nearly repaired. It's also on the north side of the map. Enemies are swarming one of our emplacements. Pants of four. Going for the ambulance. Light vehicle just got destroyed. He is the base sector, so can we stand a shot? But the machine gun's still forced to rip it apart. And he's going to reverse move through a gauntlet of bazookas and Sherman tank. And that was a high explosive round, penetrating. Ugh. Enemy is now at 75 points. He has been throwing his Panzer fours away. If you're going to reverse, if you're going to with retreat from it, you need to retreat some steps. This Panzer fours getting some good hits there. MG34 F2 Vet 4 and Pack Howitzers are really targeting it. Does get another good pair of hits there. Here comes the cluster bombs. Panzer IV does walk into the MG34 could go down. It does go down. Sherman tank on hot pursuit. Trying to blitz on out of there, but. The cluster mines what got him. Ooh, and that the can work for his capture point in two more rounds. This could be lethal. They only have twenty five points remaining. It could have been worse. The yeah, guys are hunting down the Sherman tank. Does get a good hit there. Needs one more hit. No AT guns, just only this bazooka squad. Uh, poor control, that's for sure. Does. Okay, he has a uh, radio silence. That's why I didn't see it up there. Does now have main Panther out. I think it's more or less a desperate main Panther because he needs to get this point. He needs to get on the point. And that is game. Uh, this VP and the Southern VP are not going to be contested. Overall, I'll say very poor control of those Panzer fours. Splitting them up not, is not necessarily a good idea, because then it could easily be picked off one by one if we saw this entire game. Yag, the Yag Panzer has been doing some good work, and that's the end of the game. This is John saying thank you for watching and signing off.